Kick it country 103.1. I love that sangria wine. Maybe with a little fried chicken. That sounds good to me. I mean, Chuck, it's, it's Monday morning. Let's see what we can create. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about an annual fun event. West Texas Rehab is putting on another of the uh, spring chicken affairs. I have Justin Deloach, who is the donor relations coordinator for West Texas Rehab with me right now. Good morning. Good morning, Chuck. Always glad to be with you. I love visiting with you. <laughs> this event, Kelly and I do not miss. No. It is you if you want the most delicious fried chicken you can put in your mouth. They've been doing this for 34 years and it is wonderful. Well, we look forward to this event every year because it's a great event for the community. You can come out, you can come with your family. We have entertainment all day, but you get that one of a kind fried chicken that you just can't just drive to in San Angelo and pick up on nope. Friday night. So mm-hmm. Sunday, Sunday, April 17th at from 11 to two, we're going to be firing up some chicken and we'd love to see everybody come out and join us. Well, you know, you've got it down to a science too, as far as the, uh, how many people are you expecting? We usually expect about 4,500. So, and, you know, a lot of you may be thinking, well, you know, I'm going to have to wait in line for a long time. No, you don't, yeah. because you've got a number of lines and it moves so quickly and smoothly. Yes, we try to do that for the sake of we want you to get out of your car, come up to the line, get your plate of food and go sit and enjoy the event. And we are we the only reason we can do that is because the amazing volunteers that we have at Spring Chicken Affair. And what we remind everybody is this is a pure volunteer event. You know, everybody that comes out is either from the San Angelo Restaurant Association or from a local cooking team. Everybody just shows up at 7 a.m. Sunday. We fire up the grills and we do it all the way through 2 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's it's just a great event and it's it's a great community outreach. You know, with that many people that we just talked about, how many chickens are we talking about? Well, I do know we order about 75 cases of chicken. Wow. <laughs> and and we have almost had to use 100 cases of chicken in the past. So anywhere between 75 and 100, and that's a lot of chicken. <laughs> it is a lot of chicken. And something else, folks, that I will tell you, and they have been out there numerous times performing, and they're always just in such high demand. You bring them back, uh, uh, either the, either them or or Manny Campos That's on a regular right. basis. But ladies and gentlemen, the divas are going to be playing. Yes. They're going to be in our entertainment tent playing from 11 to 2. And that's what we love to see is a lot of folks come in, they'll eat their dinner, and then they come over to the entertainment tent and just listen to the divas. And also this year, Chuck, we're going to have some live patient stories. So if you really want to see what's going on at the rehab center, I encourage you to stick around because in between sets, the divas are going to let some of the patients come up. You're going to get to see them. You could come up and meet them and hear their story at the rehab. And that's why we do stuff about like, excuse me. That's why we do events like the spring chicken affair. Absolutely. And it takes a lot of money, folks, to run the West Texas Rehab. That's right. uh, you cover a very large area. Yes, we cover the Concho Valley in, in, in completion, and we do not turn anybody away due to their inability to pay. So quite honestly, the events go directly to our patient care. And that's what's so vital to us from the community is when you come out and support the Spring Chicken Affair, you're supporting your neighbors, you're supporting your friends, and we hope you never have to use us. But if you do, we'll take good care of you if the need ever arises. And that's a good feeling to have right yes. there, just to know that. It's a great thing to be a part of. Well, I know it's going to be packed. It's going to be so much fun. Everybody, <laughs> anyone who's not been there, I can't encourage you enough to get out to it. If you've been there, I know you'll be there again. Yes, they'll be in the line. <laughs> but that is coming up this weekend, so 11 to 2. Tickets are $8, and we do have them available in advance. But they're $8 flat rate all the way through the weekend. You can pick them up at the event as well. But if you'd like to come by the Rehab Center or go online to West Texas rehab.org you can pick up your tickets there as well okay now it's going to be sunday sunday yes april 17th so. and give us the location again it's uh, behind first financial bank on knickerbocker so knickerbocker and sunset okay look for the big tents it's gonna be <laughs> so much fun now i'm hungry yes I, I, and i said that sangria well, i'm just saying it might be a good little mix so <laughs> <laughs>